everyone. It's Monday today, and I'm recording this video for last week, uh, week 31 at Landon School. I apologize for coming out a little late, but I was really busy this weekend, so I didn't have much time nor a quiet place to actually record. Um, I'm actually sitting in a cafe right now to record this video for you guys. Mm. So the first week went really well overall. It's kind of freeform, and um, there's some structure, but not too much. The general schedule for the day is that you would have like stand up with your team. We still have teams that we meet with. Um, and we kind of just say what we're doing for the day, our methods and, uh, you know, things that happened uh, the previous day. So after that, we have uh, about two and a half hours of sourcing job opportunities, making contacts or writing job applications, that sort of thing. Take lunch for an hour. Then after lunch, we work on a blog post for about an hour on uh, specific topics that they provide. So the first week was about what I learned from Lambda School. So I did write up that post and I'll include a link in the bottom below that you can actually take a look um, and you can read about my experiences. And then after that, we have about three hours of just coding. You can uh, code on anything you want. Um, they recommend certain things. So uh, the first week was just, I think, working on your portfolio site. And then this week is supposed to be something else. Uh, so. I already had a portfolio site, I just tweaked it basically and uh, it was pretty much good to go. And then at the towards the end of the day we have like 45 minutes of interview practice where we would alternate between behavioral interview and technical interview. Um, and we would interview with people in our group obviously because there's not enough uh, career coaches to go around or you know, the special specialist to actually sit with you and do that. So we just practice with each other, and then we have our stand-up for about 15, 20 minutes, and that's pretty much the end of the day. Um, I picked up a lot this week. Uh, some of the tools that we use are Hunter, which is a way that we log our job apps that we put out, so you can keep track of who you sent your applications to. I also found that there was a limit on it for 40 job applications, so after that, I might have to uh, just switch over to something else completely. But I think I already have a process where I have basically a markdown document and I log everything pretty much. What I, what messages I send to people, um, different uh, people that I connected with, different links, all in this markdown document. And it's been working pretty well so far. Um, I, I much prefer that than Hunter. Hunter is just more like a Kanban board where I'm dragging uh, cards to different columns to kind of keep track of what I've applied to, rejections or uh, wish list, that sort of thing. But I'm not using it as much as probably some other people. I've been just using my own method. And as far as the job hunt goes, I jump on LinkedIn, I jump on built-in, I jumped on uh, Glassdoor, and just been sourcing opportunities from there. I haven't quite exhausted all the options yet because every day there's new job postings that get posted. So I haven't ran out yet thus far. I applied to about maybe 21, 22 jobs already. And I've heard back like a rejection from one, which is a pretty good response rate, I think. Um, one out of 20, it's not too bad. And then, um, yeah, I've just been trying to connect with people in LinkedIn. Uh, and then just like messaging them, starting to start a conversation, seeing what's like in the company, how they like it there. And then I would also apply for the job the same day as I connect with those people. And like on a cover letter, I would write something like, hey, you know, I tried to connect with these people in the company to understand more about it. And you know, that shows initiative that you've taken some time and effort to research the company instead of just like clicking that apply button and just throwing out resumes. And I think companies like to see that. Um, hopefully this approach is more personal, personable than other people, so hopefully it stands out a little bit more. Um, my resume is pretty much good to go. Uh, I have a portfolio site. Uh, I maybe could work on my cover letter a little bit, but I do have like some kind of quick format that I just wrote, so I just send them that, that out. It's about three paragraphs, not too long. Um, yeah, that's kind of been the first week so far. Uh, I'm getting like one or two companies here that uh, that may potentially work for me so I'm gonna keep working on that 
And for the most part, the whole week is the same. You know, you kind of just code, you kind of make put in job applications, you work on your uh, interview skills, and you know, work on your projects, that sort of thing. So nothing really like groundbreaking or new. I think it's relatively new program, and they're still working to develop the program out. But other than that, it's uh, pretty good so far. Um, I it's more relaxed pace than being in school because you don't have to. Uh, it's less, it's less pressure to perform. I guess it's more like whatever you put in is what you get, right? So I've been putting in time uh, in the morning and also after work hours as well. So hopefully some fruits start to grow and start to uh, mature so for me. So that's it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to ask me any questions. Um, relevant links will be posted down below for your easy access. Other than, other than that, uh, enjoy the week and uh, apologize again for coming up late, but I'm trying to stay consistent as best as I can. <laughs> it's kind of hard to uh, be here in Mexico since there's so many cool things to do here on the weekend. So, cool. That's it for me. Take it easy. Have a great week. And I will post up 32 as soon as I'm able.